scientists, welcome back to the lab. Today, we're going to be going through this National Geographic Amazing Reactions Chemistry set, specifically looking at alkaline and acids, or acids and bases, in order to understand color changing chemistry to allow us to measure and determine the acidity of different things we have in front of us, as well as maybe things around the house. Now, I've taken all the needed items out from the chemistry kit, including red cabbage powder, citric acid, a cup, our measuring spoon, small and medium, a pipette, as well as one of our test tubes here. Now, it's important to have safety first as well, and so I will be using gloves, as well as my additional safety glasses on top of the glasses I already have. Now, in addition to these items that come in the kit, all you'll need is an additional glass of water. And we're gonna be using that water in the first step as we dive in. But before diving in, let's get a quick chemistry concept. So what does it mean to be acidic or basic? Well, to be acidic means you have a lot of hydrogen ions. And that's why we refer to acidity usually as the pH level or the potential hydrogen. Now, in addition to that, you might also have heard the term basic, which is the opposite of acidic. And that basically means you have a lot of hydroxide ions instead. And so, whereas a battery and stomach acid is very acidic at zero to one level on the pH scale, you'll find that a stomach tablet with a very basic or bleach and drain cleaner, those are all the way out between 10 to 14. And this is a scale that runs from zero to 14, with water being a neutral element directly in the center at seven. So let's dive in and see how we can measure the acidity, or as we've learned, the amount of hydrogen ions that these different solutions contain. With the safety equipment on, it is time to get into the experimentation. And so we're gonna first start by taking our test tube, and we're gonna be filling this three-fourths full of water. And so I have a beaker here. I'm just gonna eye this and get about three fourths full. Uh, maybe a little too much. I could always pour it back. It's not uh, changed yet, so it's just pure water. So that looks about three fourths. We're gonna go ahead and place that back into our container. And then we're gonna be adding one small scoop using that scooping spoon you've been given. And that's gonna be of the red cabbage powder. Now, this powder couldn't stain, so keep it away from clothes, keep those gloves on, and we're gonna go ahead and add that uh, powder to our mixture. Now, scientists, in order to prevent cross-contamination and ensure we're doing things safely, you can also use the included experimentation tray as you take and scoop out from these different powders. And so, starting with that red cabbage powder, we're gonna use that smaller end, that small scoop, and we're gonna scoop one small scoop here, of red cabbage powder and place it directly inside that test tube. We could see it's immediately turning a little darker, a little darker purple. Keep in mind it is cabbage, but the amazing thing here, you could see it's almost turning blue, is that cabbage is actually an indicator. That's because of the anthocyanin. It's a chemical that it'll turn blue the more base something is, and it'll turn red the more acidic something is. So it's almost acting like a natural pH strip to tell us the acidity level. And so I can go ahead and stir here and just keep it going. And we can see as expected, because keep in mind this is water. Water is going to have a pH of 7. It's going to be right in between blue and red, so kind of a purple is what uh, what we currently have. And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this citric acid and I'm going to fill, first of all, a cup of water about halfway from my beaker. This cup is provided. We're going to do about halfway there. And then we're going to add a medium scoop, so the larger scoop end and make sure not to cross contaminate those two ends. We're gonna add that citric acid. So one medium scoop here of citric acid and keep in mind this is an acid as the name would show. So it's gonna have more of those uh, hydrogen ions and it's gonna get them going into that solution. And so again, I'll use the opposite end and I'll stir and I'll really make sure that it gets mixed into this water here. 
Now, with all those crystals from the citric acid it dissolved into this water, we have a rather acidic solution. And so the last thing that we're gonna do as part of this experiment and to see and to test this water, which is relatively basic, getting more acidic, and then seeing our indicator, which is this cabbage solution with the water, react to that, we should be seeing it get more red. Because keep in mind, red is an acidity level as indicated by this cabbage and its chemical anthocyanide. And so now you can take your pipette and you can slowly start pipetting in from this acidic water mixture. And so we take that water mixture, we come over here, currently it is purple, but as we slowly start dropping in and mixing in even the solution, we can see it's immediately starting to become more red and more clear there. And as we keep adding more of that acid, we can see that that cabbage solution continues to turn more and more red. And you can go ahead and stir that as well if you'd like to really get it mixed in. And then we can see the full solution changing that color. And now, what did we learn? What did we see? Well, as highlighted, we learned about acidity. We took our cabbage solution, which is an indicator, an indicator is something that changes color based on how acidic or basic, aka alkaline, something is. And we saw how when we took a citric acid solution, which is very acidic, and moved it into what was just water and the cabbage powder, we transformed its acidity level to make it more acidic, which really means from a pH perspective that we've ionized it from a hydrogen ion perspective and that's what's causing the color to change. And that's also why things that are around our house may taste more tart, you know, more citric, like uh, say a lemon is very acidic versus some things like uh, below water, like your stomach tablet with calcium, uh, that's gonna be very basic. And just like that scientists, we saw how we could take that cabbage solution, the indicator, and turn it more red by adding a more acidic solution, that being the citric acid that we combine with the water. But what if we wanted to go the opposite direction? What if we wanted to make it more basic, AKA more alkaline? Well, we can do that as well. And the kit comes with that. We're gonna be using baking soda instead of the citric acid. And so while I've already cleaned out my cup, closed out my pipette and my measuring spoon here and got more water, you can also go ahead and clean a little bit for your next experiment, which is to make this cabbage solution more basic. Now we aren't gonna use that same container. This one is already used. We're gonna start fresh here. And so similar to our other experiment, we're gonna be filling this test tube up about three fourths of the way. That'll leave us room to pipette in that basic solution. So we're gonna add that. We're gonna add once again, a small scooping of this red cabbage powder. So the red cabbage powder coming in, it's again, acting as our indicator. It gets more blue, the more basic something is. And we can go ahead and stir that in as well. Now just the powder and the water should be purple as expected. Right in between, it's got a pH of seven between that blue color meaning basic and the red color meaning acidic. And so I'm also gonna fill up again half of my cup here with water. But instead of citric acid as mentioned, we're gonna make it more basic. So we're gonna take a scoop here of our baking soda. There we go. And we're gonna just drop that in there. See it fizz a little bit, we can stir that in. Make sure it gets dissolved and essentially we're changing the pH level of this water, taking it from that neutral kind of position it is at and making it more basic. We're basically pulling the number. Now, the last step as always is then pipetting that solution, that basic solution into our indicator, that red cabbage with water. And our hypothesis is that it should become more blue, AKA more alkaline, more basic. And so we'll go ahead and we'll scoop ourselves up here and make sure that gets really mixed in. I saw a little uh, clump there of that baking soda still not disintegrated. So we can make sure that that is mixed in nicely there. Then we can suck it up. 
and start applying it. And I can already see there it's becoming much more blue. A little uh, less distinguishable than with the, the red because it's not becoming clear. It's actually becoming a darker blue. But fundamentally, we have changed the color. And we have made it from a purple much more blue here. And that tells us that the solution is indeed alkaline. It is becoming more basic. And so this whole concept of pH is very important. It affects the flavor of things around us. But also when it comes to say crops, a lot of different crops grow differently depending on the pH level of the soil. And so this concept of the acidity versus how base something is definitely affects every day of our lives here. And so it's a very cool chemistry concept to see in person here and to see this solution in this case, the cabbage solution turn into this now deep, bright, vibrant blue instead of that red solution we had previously with the citric acid. Well, thank you scientists for joining us in the lab today to learn about acids and bases and looking at this color chemistry. As always, the links to these experiments is available in the description and you can learn more chemistry concepts and check out cool kits over at teachkidschemistry.com. We hope to see you back in the lab soon.